Warning, the Beefy Boys contain strong language throughout and scenes of a tasty nature. Vegetarians and vegans may want to leave the room. anymore man I came to the beefy boys the beefy boys don't kill me I don't want to die oh god Oh, this is exciting. A police officer all the way from Las Vegas and little old Hereford. So how was the fight? It's fucking dreadful. Pirago, Officer Pirago, no. can you explain why the Las Vegas Police Department are involved with the arrest of your no. people? No, it's oh, Hereford time. No. Quick, we're for the local paper. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Sorry, Ian, mate. I think you're a little bit jet-lagged. But I'm from the Hereford Times. Officer Pirago. Jet McTaggart, Scotland Yard. Just arrived this morning. Do you really think the beefy boys can be mixed up in all this? What if they are involved? They're in big fucking trouble, goddammit. Okay, so my name is Detective Jack Provago, Las Vegas PD. This here, this is Jet McTaggart of Scotland Yard. We would like to ask you a few questions today. Guys, I'm, I'm just the cameraman. I only work with the beefy boys. Don't know what this is all about, but um, I'm willing to cooperate 100% though. Look, if this is about that old man, Murph looked at me and nodded. This ain't about no old man. Ah, so we aren't here for the book. Or well, what book would that be, lad? Oh, nothing. Just some recipe book. I'm not here to talk about a goddamn recipe book. What I want to know is about the World Food Championships. Oh. Vegas 2014. Now you better fucking tell us about that shit. Uh, well, we won Best Burger uh, in Grosstock, and uh, we got the chance to go over to the States and represent the UK at the uh, World Food Championships in Vegas, where we uh, came second in the world. <laughs> Pretty happy. I'm gonna need a bit more information than that, goddammit. Okay, um, yeah, so we made a burger called the Butty Back. It had uh, slow smoked brisket, barbecue Butty Back sauce, American cheese, Swiss cheese, slaw. And Cut the shit, you greasy looking motherfucker. Greasy. I can give two flying fucks about your goddamn burger. I want the truth about Tarby's Barbies, aka the barbecue butcher. You fucking recognize this? What the hell was that? Someone put someone under the door. Is that a note? What does it say? Quick now or you'll be sorry. No. No, I've never seen that before, mate. So you never heard of Tarbis Barbies? No? Okay. So listen up. Now legend has it that deep down south, some say Texas or Alabama. I don't know, fucking banjo playing country. Now legend has it that an old barbecue pit master loses his fucking mind, goes fucking batshit crazy. Some say he's made a pact with the fucking devil. Now this motherfucker is going out eating people. He fucking kidnaps him, and he is fucking eating. Now this sounds fucking crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. Like some fucking old wives tale. Don't go in the fucking woods, don't go in the fucking woods, the barbecue butcher's gonna get you, and all that sort of fucking shit. Now that's what we thought. That's what we thought, until the bodies started showing up. Well, what was fucking left of them anyway? I mean, we're talking fucking bits. This psychotic son of a bitch was eating these motherfuckers. Now, this ringing any bells to you? Now, does this ring any fucking bells to you? No? No? What about this fucking ugly motherfucker right here? Nope. Never seen him. No? Goes by the name of Mr. Fucking Moo. Nasty piece of work. Hired hitman. Goes out, hunts the chefs for the fucking butcher to eat. No. Okay, so let me tell you what we know about the World Food Championships 2014, okay? Now this hitman right here 
was hired by the butcher to hunt you guys down and steal your secret burger recipe. Nah. You then proceeded to have a shootout with this man in the middle of the Arizona desert where one of the two now missing beefy boys, Steve McGowan, shot this man dead. What would you think about? Why would I think that? Let me see. You had your goddamn cameraman record all of that shit and you chuckleheads put it all on Facebook and YouTube. Aye. You even had a DVD made of it too. You've been selling it at your fucking food pop-ups. Oh yeah. No, I'm not here to talk to you about Vegas. Yeah, your friend Steve shot this no good piece of shit, Mr. Moo dead. What the fuck do I care? One less perp on the streets. Now my concern is the butcher's still out there. Chefs are still going fucking missing. Now I can't have that. So what I want to know is the World Fucking Food Championships, Florida 2015. Now you tell us about that shit. Oh, pff, nothing really. Florida? Oh, pff, don't really remember, to be honest. Not much. Um, oh, Florida? Yeah, that was, that was crazy. I filmed some absolutely mad stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've got it all on this, this hard drive right here. Haven't had time to go through it all. There's, there's hours and hours of footage on there. Feel free to um, have a gander. Guys. Now here's three terabytes of film that we obtained from your cameraman, Ed, from Shooting Reels. We currently got West Mercia's finest sifting through the Evans. Oh, hello, mate. What are you watching now? Oh, that Beefy Boys film. Any good? Nah. Hmm. Hey, how's your dog? So I suggest you start fucking talking and you tell us where the other two missing Beefy Boys are. Now what the hell happened in Florida and how the hell the barbecue butcher is wrapped up in all of this? Okay, okay, look. It all started going wrong when we got back from Vegas. Hey, guys. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, well, uh, we're just looking through the plans for the new restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. We won $5,000 coming second at the World Food Champs in Las Vegas. And then Chris decided to gamble all of the winnings on 11. Yeah. Come on, that was a bit out of order, wasn't yeah. it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys, we were in Vegas. Yeah, yeah it's, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, end of the day, uh, the numbers came in. So uh, here we are, we've got a brand new unit and uh, yeah, just looking through the plans now. Yeah. So we're doing uh, street food pop-ups for about a year now. And uh, what we're winning from Vegas, we've got just about enough money to hopefully get the restaurant open by the end of the year. I mean, it's a pretty big undertaking and uh, it's, well, to be fair, a hell of a learning curve for us all mm. to be on. But um, well, we've got some new staff, as you can see. Yeah, this is uh, Weasley and That's this cool. is... Tyler. Stop! Look. Stop, cease and desist what you're doing. You, put the lentils down. Put them down. Put them down. Yeah. Hey. hey, what's going on? This is a financial intervention. You what? what? Who are you? My name's Alex Bellsniff. Financial consultant and business sharpshooter. I've been sent here by the bank to defuse a critical situation. The bank? Yeah. As of now, your assets are frozen due to a claim by Mr. Dan Blazarian. Egg. I have here in my hand a uh, letter from the claimant solicitor saying that you knowingly stole a large sum of money from his accounts, Las Vegas, November 2014. How did they find it? You put it on a DVD. There's, there's a copy of it there, and you put it on the, the, the YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, look, it wasn't that much money, though. It was just like expenses yeah, for the yeah. competition and that. Yeah, yeah. just a little bit. A hundred thousand pounds in twenty-four hours. Yeah, that was, yeah. was pretty well, dude. So your assets are frozen. What? That's, you can't freeze our assets, mate. We literally just signed the deeds for the restaurant. But this will bankrupt us. Yes, well, we know that, of course. That's where I come in. I need to see your current finances and your business plan. Well, oh, well, the business plan's over there, mate. It's really bad. Is it? Yeah, it's not good. Is that, what's your, that's a business plan. What are you on about? Profit. You haven't even spelled restaurant correctly. I'm a business guru. It's what I do. I come into a place like this, I see a problem, I fix it. These guys, they probably see me as a bit of a tyrant. A man of quite obvious, great intellect, strong, resilient. A financial silverback. Gorilla. A brooding, almost sexual 
presence in the room. But that won't always be the case, you know, I'll take this group of effective idiots and I will mould them, I will groom them, if you will, into a well-oiled financial machine. And eventually they'll come to see me as a mentor, a father figure, you know, maybe a kind uncle. Is it good? It's good, Okay, we've been going through this for 48 hours straight now. I'll say again, if we show goodwill by paying back a generous sum of the Brazilian claim, setting up regular payment plans, you aren't completely broke. There's a small amount left over, but if you pull back on some of the extravagances planned for the restaurant, you could still aim to open for December. Yes, Murphy. Pull back on what? Well, the DJ booth will have to go. What? what? And I don't think a life-size replica of Robocop is essential. Oh, come on, mate. And I know you fought for it, Dan, but it's a no on the fireman's pole. Oh, come on, this is stupid. Me and Chris got a far better plan than this. What's that? This is a letter from the World Food Championships, Florida 2015. They want us back. I say we take this last bit of money, we buy the tickets to Florida, we compete in the World Food Championships, we win the $5,000. That's when Chris comes in. So, I take the money. Yeah, go on. And we go to a casino. I like the sound of this. And yeah. we put it on 11. Genius. That does sound amazing. But seriously, Chris, how good are our chances of winning? Well, as you know, gambling is a bit of a fool's game, but... If I really had to commit, I'd say we've got 100% chance of winning. Do some good odds, yeah. yeah. Does this mean we get to go to Florida? Yeah. And Jurassic Park land? <laughs> I think it does, Steve. I think it does. Yeah. This is insane. I set out a clear fiscal plan that allows you to repay the debt and open the restaurants. What you guys are proposing is tantamount to, to bloody silliness. Yeah, but nowhere on your plan can I see the bit where we all go to Jurassic Park land. It's not even called Jurassic Parkland! What do you think it's called? I'm pretty sure it is, mate. Yeah. yeah. What, what is it called then? Well, I don't know. It's the film, Yeah, it's named after yeah. the film, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. yeah. It's Jurassic Parkland. Let's take it back, mate. Hmm? It's called Jurassic Parkland. Jurassic Park. Definitely called Jurassic, Jurassic Parkland. Park Park well, what do you think it's called? It's not even fuck off. It's just ridiculous. So you're telling me. Your plan was to enter the World Food Championships, win, gamble all the money on 11, and hope you get fucking lucky again? Exactly the same thing that you did last time? Yeah. What? That has got to be the goddamn best idea we've ever had. Now, all we've got to do is come up with some special burgers for the World Food Championships. No, I had an idea the other day, actually. You'd have, mm. like, pepperoni on cheese, maybe, like, a real nice homemade marinara. Mm. Yeah. Deep fried mozzarella. Like a pizza boy. That'd be quite nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds yeah. good, but it's like, is it, like, special enough for the World mm. Food Championships? Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Well, okay, al along those lines, make a macaroni cheese, and then form that into a patty, like panko breadcrumb, deep fry, and then um, lettuce, chipotle ketchup, uh, macaroni boy. I mean, that sounds great, it'd be awesome in a restaurant, but I don't know if it's got that, something special we need yeah. to really help us in the World Food Championships. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Hey, hey, it's Chris. Listen guys, I've got something really special here. I think it's gonna help us win the World Food Championships. Oh, that sounds perfect, what is it, Chris? Right, I was in the barrels on Tuesday night. <laughs> You're one of the Beefy Boys, right? Oh shit, you're uh, DJ Barbecue. We met filming with the Beefy Boys, I think, a couple, a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, shh. listen, man. Um, I, I know this all sounds kind of crazy, but I've been looking for you guys because I think I'm being followed and I need you to look after something for me. Sure, what is it? These. What the hell is that? They're from an ancient recipe book. This, this holds immense powers. It, they can turn people. I mean, Jamie Oliver, it turned him. I had to beat the guy off with a brisket. You beat off Jamie Oliver? I beat him unconscious with a brisket. Uh, yeah. Not beat him off. That, oh. Irish brisket. Uh, grain fed the last month to finish it off. And anyway, yeah, it wasn't a good sight. I mean, Jamie Oliver could be dead right now. 
down to this book and that brisket. Now, you have to understand how important these pages are. It's an ancient burger recipe. Okay. Now, whatever you do, man, don't read them. Don't use them. Just protect them and don't let anybody else see them. They'll turn you. I don't want to beat you off, okay? Now listen, I gotta lay low. I've been followed by this guy with like a hat and a clown sidekick and they've been tailing me and they can't know where I am. They see me talking to you, you're gonna be in trouble. So listen, I gotta lay low for a couple days. I'll be back, just keep them safe and I'll see you soon, okay? It's all right, don't worry. Thanks. Shit! I told her to die! And then he vanished. Anyway, turns out it was some recipe from some old cookbook, but we should definitely use it. Yeah, man, yeah, this is yeah, yeah. perfect. All right, guys, let's book these flights to Florida and go, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. All right, well, definitely. if you are insisting on going ahead following this path, then I should probably, you know, stop sorting out all these papers that I've got here and come along with you to Florida to look after the finances and the spending and, the, and that sort of stuff. Okay? Well, it's too late for that, guys, because I've already booked the flights and the accommodation. Yeah. Let's get ready for Florida. Yeah. I'll just uh, hold the fort here then. Chris, it's just text. Right. Sorry, boys, something come up. I'm not going to be able to make it. Sorry to let you down. Uh, sad, sad face. What are we going to do now? So, right, listen up. Some of you know me, some of you don't. My name's Alex Bellsniff. Uh, it's not funny. Now, with the boys away, the bank has deemed me in charge. And let me tell you, there's going to be some changes. Some of you won't like it. I'm a firm boss, but. You will also learn in time, I'm a fair boss. But let me tell you, when I get firm, I get very firm indeed. The last thing any of you want is to be alone with me when I'm getting firm. So what have we learned? Yeah. Don't make you firm. Yeah, very good. Don't make me firm. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can come up with some of the things that might make me firm. Uh, anyone? Oh, well, I'll get you started. Uh, insubordinance gets me firm. Tardiness, I'm getting firm there, yeah. Uh, jewellery in the workplace, mate, that'll have to go, or I'll be firm. You, you look like you know a couple of things that could get me firm. I feel like you're being pretty firm now. Not firm now. This is just a taster, sort of semi-firm, so you know what it's like. Yeah? yeah. Nice one, good mate. Uh, so I think we've covered the f oh. This next level. I can be firm. I can get hard. And God help you if I get hard. Uh, so I guess. Welcome to a new beginning. <whistles> All right, let's work at the bank. El Bosso trying to crack the whip. Hello, sir. How's things going your end? All falling apart without me? Hmm? What? what? Redundant? But why? I put my best fears into this venture and... Gross negligence, who said that? Susan! Well, Susan's a lying whore! Look, I was only sleeping in the office while the whole thing with the bailiffs blew over. Well, how am I going to pay that back now? What kind of notice are we talking? End of the day! You can't... Hello? Hello? Fuck! Nothing to worry about, uh, routine stuff, so... Yeah, no, please, please, I'll do anything. Yeah, it's Murph, yeah? Hi, Murph. How's it going? 
Listen, Chris has really, really let us down, man. He's like text us. Um, he ain't coming. So we've been trying to bring him, trying to get hold of him and that. But it's, look, it's, it's, um, is there any chance that you could... Um, yes! Yes! You could ask the rest of the staff for us, see if anyone's free, if they could come down. Yeah. I'll get right on that now. Awesome. Right. Murph, remember, if you do need a more of a long-term financial advisor, I can make myself available. Yeah, all right, thanks. Cheers. Yeah, okay, bye. Um, who was uh, who was that, Alex? Um, uh, nobody. I'm just gonna. I spoke to the staff, no one else was available. Gatwick Airport, please, my good man. Nothing to worry about. Keep... Keep driving. So what, you're coming instead? Really? Look, after the aftermath of last year's Essex page, you need someone of my credentials to look after you. I can look after your records, take your calls, represent you legally, all for the bargain price of £75 a day, Roman. Okay. How about five pound a day and you sleep on Steve's floor? Interested, interested. And food? Anything we leave. Deal. So what about Chris? What the hell happened to him? I don't know, that was that was the last time we ever saw him alive. Where are we? Who the hell are you? Well, I go by many names, young sir. There are those that know me as the Barbecue Butcher. A rather grandiose title, I feel you'll agree. But then there are some, like you and your friends, that know me by my true identity. You? That's right. I, sir, am Tabby from Tabby's Barbie. And I believe you boys have some pages from the Devil's Cookbook for me. Good! Let go! <laughs>